Hey everybody, I'm Mick from Mick's Wonder Eight Wonders, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at table saws. I'm going to break down all the parts of a table saw and what you need to know before you start using one. Okay, so this is our Watkin table saw. Uh, I've had this quite a few years. It's got a uh, solid cast bed on this one. It's a three-phase model, this one, um, which you'd normally have in industrial premises. Um, most people don't tend to use the three-phase at home. It's very unlikely you've got three-phase in your home. Um, but uh, you can buy these in single phase, but we use three phase because they are cheaper to run and they tend to be a little bit more powerful. Uh, this one's got an extension bed on, so you see that green part there on the sliding bed? It's actually an extension that is the proper bed ends there, of course. Um, so it would normally only come back to this, but this has got a longer uh, slide bar on and then this extension. This means we can cut up to about uh, a meter in width uh, instead of probably about two foot which is about say 0.6 so it gives you a lot more versatility with the machine well worth getting one um if you can um the adjustment is this handle you lift up and then slide the carriage to where you want it like that this is a uh, locking lever so it saves you if you anybody happens to touch it, saves anybody moving it uh, when you don't want it moving. Right, uh, have a look, this is the crown guard. This plastic piece here is called a crown guard, which covers the blade. Um, in the UK, you are supposed to have some sort of dust extraction on them. Now these laws will probably change for different countries, but in the UK, they do say you need a crown guard and uh, it has to have an extraction of some system fitted on it. This one goes up this pipe up here, goes across here, across this steel tube, and then into a pipe and up into the extractor there at the side of the saw. So uh, when you cut it, especially when you cut it, things like MDF, you want one of them on really, so uh, it keeps your dust down. We put this handy clip here. I've, I've made this after a paper clip actually, but it's dead handy. It's so simple, but it's dead handy because you can lift uh, the guard up like that. And if you're changing the blade or setting the guide up, it just saves it being in your way. And then you just flick it off of that when you start cutting. So these guides, uh, you do get some on the crown guard that uh, are fixed. So you basically have to set them a certain distance above your timber. This one is sort of, uh, it's telescopic sort of system on it. So what happens is you uh, let it down like that when you start. And then as you, as you start cutting, you push it in and it goes under these wheels. And as you can see, that is uh, lifting the crown guard up. So it lifts it up to wherever it needs to be. So they're, they're really handy because it saves you messing about, especially if you're cutting different thicknesses of timber, uh, you haven't got to keep stopping and resetting it. So I'll just put the crown guard up out of the way and I can talk about the blade and the riving knife. Of course, that's the blade, pretty straightforward. Uh, the, that steel piece behind it is called a riving knife. What that's for is to stop your timber grabbing, uh, which would cause kickback. Um, so it is an important piece. It, it stops anything coming sideways and touching the back of the blade there, uh, which can cause it to propel the piece forward. So it is really uh, important to have one of those. I do notice a lot of the videos on YouTube, especially um, a lot of our friends over in the States, they don't tend to have riving knives, but I'm not 100% certain. Maybe you could tell me if anybody's watching from the States, is it actually law to have a riving knife or doesn't it matter? Uh, but it is law in the UK that you have to have a riving knife, especially if you, it's not so bad if you use it for yourself, then it's your choice. But if you're employing people, then you really do have to have a riving knife and a crown guard and dust extraction. So uh, that's uh, the basics of that. This one, as I say, has got a cast bed. So it's a nice, solid cast bed. I love cast beds. I definitely will go for a cast bed if you can afford to go for one if it's in your budget, because they are a lot more accurate. Um, the pressed tin beds are all right. They do the job. But if you want something that's gonna last you years, Definitely worth getting a cast bed. I think this one at some time has had an extension on this side as well, because you can see there's a line here. 
in this bed. So I think the bed would originally finish there but somebody's added this piece, I think. I don't know. Uh, if you know, tell me in the comments. Um, this one has got a brake built into it, so it does stop a lot faster. As I say, this make is Wadkin, so Wadkin Bears Green, which I love Wadkin products. Um, this one, handle here, is for the rise and fall, which lifts the blade up and down. And then on the side here, you've also got another wheel, which causes the blade to tilt if you want to cut on an angle. These center pieces, are locking uh, levers so you can just lock them off one on there one on there so you just lock it off and then you can't turn that it locks it solid so that's what that's for of course this piece is probably the most important piece this is a push stick and what this is for of course is for pushing timber through get yourself a push stick you don't have to buy one you can meet one this is one that was kind of given to me it's a magnetic one which is really handy because you can stick it to the frame above and then you can get uh, plastic ones as well like this one cheap plastic ones but uh, in the uk they have to be uh, 30 centimeters long uh, minimum uh, to use them but uh, as again i don't know what the uh, laws are in the states and other countries maybe you could tell me in the comments so that's a table saw now i've just got this little table saw here just to show you this is basically the same machine on a small scale. This is like uh, a table saw you'd buy from a tool shop. Um, does the job. This is, as I say, a tin pressed steel uh, bed. Uh, it's still got the tilted action in the rise and fall underneath there, but a lot simpler, a lot rawer sort of uh, way. Uh, start, stop. Um, They've got a built-in brake in the motor, these, so they don't have like a separate box, like on the big machines. Single phase, so it just runs on a no normal 13 amp plug. Again, you've got the crown guard here. You've got the riving knife at the back, and it just takes a standard blade. Um, but of course, it's smaller than the blade on the big machine I've just showed you. But that basically is, it also has a sliding guide as well on this one, where it's just been removed while we've got it to, put away sort of thing um they find they do the job ideal for laminates and things like that and cutting small bits of wood not so ideal you can get a lot bigger version of this but still a diy version if you want to start cutting timber they're all right for thin bits of timber this but not ideal for uh, thick lumps of timber you're going to just burn the motor out if you do buy one of these please be careful if you've not used a saw before Take your time, watch what you're doing. Make sure you get a push stick. They normally come with a push stick. If it doesn't for any reason, then if you buy one second hand or something like that, make yourself a push stick before you start using it. Don't start using it without a push stick. And if you don't feel comfortable using a table saw, then my advice is don't use one. Don't use one if you feel frightened of using it because that's when accidents happen. So that's a small table saw. That's a big table saw any more information you'd like about table saws let me know post down in the comments and i'll see you on the next one uh, the next machinery video we're going to be looking at a plane of things sir gene over here this big one we'll sweep that sword of stuff before i do the video on that so if you've liked this video and you want to see more hit that like button hit that subscribe button on your notifications and i'll see you lot on the next one